Do you want to know how to create a very unique poster for your project in a very fast and easy way? And all of that is on Photoshop? If so, then just continue watching because I'm gonna be explaining how I created this poster right here in less than 10 minutes. So just keep watching. Welcome back to Tips with Mona. My name is Mona Abu Fayyad. I'm an architect and a designer. On this platform, I explain some architectural and designing content. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then you have to, so you don't miss out the content. But for now, let's start our video of today. So the first thing you need to do is that you want to go to your Photoshop, open it, and then you'll need to type these dimensions if you want or you, you should put the dimensions of the sheet that you want to work with. For me, I'll use uh, an A1 sheet for my poster. So it's gonna be 594 millimeters by 841. I would like to keep it on the portrait mode and then for the resolution, I'll choose 150. I'll hit create. So now this is my working space. But before that, I like to brainstorm my ideas and keep a folder with the materials that I would like to work with. So first of all, this is the folder that has the plans, elevations and the rendered images. It's not necessarily to put all of these info or all of these uh, materials, but it's better to have them all in one folder so you can choose from them. And then the second thing that I would like to do, and it's really important, and this thing that I'm gonna explain now, it will really minimize the time of creating your poster, which is creating a brainstorming board. So let me show you my brainstorming board. So this is the brainstorming board. It's where I would like to organize my ideas before translating them into my Photoshop poster. You can sketch it by hand or you can sketch it by using any software that you're comfortable with. So for me, I would like to divide my poster like this for this time. So at the top, I'll put my title and then on the left hand, I'll put the text, which is about the concept or maybe the architect, the year of construction and so on. And then I'll put my plans here on the right hand side. After that, I'll place my elevations and sections. And then at the bottom, I would like to put one big perspective shot. So this is the way that I start brainstorming how I want my poster to look like. And in this way, it will really save you tons of time. So now let's just start. For me, I would like to start with the one big perspective shot. And for today, I would like to start with a dark perspective shot. I want to try to make a dark uh, poster for this time because I already tried to make many different posters on my channel. If you would like to see them, just check my channel. You're gonna find a couple of these posters videos. But for today, let's try to make something different, which is a very dark uh, poster. So now after placing this perspective shot, I would like to extend the dark color of the sky to make it blend with the rest of the poster. So for that, I'm gonna hit this right here, which is create a new layer and I'm gonna place it right under my shot. And then, I'm gonna go to my brush tool and I'll just pick with my alt this color from the corner of the perspective shot and then I'm just gonna start putting the same color right under my perspective shot and then after that we can blend the color with the perspective shot so I'll just extend the color and then I'll go to my perspective image i'll hit right click and then i'll rasterize the layer after rasterizing the layer you can now go and create a masking layer for this perspective layer so i'll hit this button right here which 
will give you a masking layer and then I'll start using my black color and my brush tool I'll use a smoother brush and I'll try to just blend these edges with the background color that I just created so I'll just keep trying to remove this hard edge you need to take your time while doing this so you can achieve the best result possible keep playing with the size of the brush and with the opacity so you can achieve a more natural looking result so I'll just um, decrease the opacity and maybe I'll just increase the size of the brush so I can make it blend more with my poster I'll go to my background color my background layer I'll choose it and then I select this color with a very very low opacity I'll just hit the edges to give some light color on the corners to make it blend with my background now that I have my background and my perspective shot done and placed correctly on my poster as you can remember on my a brainstorming board I have placed the title at the top of the poster so now we can go ahead and start placing the title so for that I'll go to my text command right here or that text tool I'll hit that and then I'll just draw a box at the top and then I'll change the size to make it match the poster you can of course enhance it and change it later now let's place our correct uh, text I already copied that this is Villa Z by Arc Architecture so I'll just select that I'll, I want my text to be in white because the poster is already dark and then I can of course change the size of the font and I can also change the uh, font style I would like to make the architecture word in capital letters so it will appear as a proper title I'll hit OK and then I'll try with my dragging tool to increase it and then I'll hit OK You can fix the position of the font and the text whenever you want. After that, I would like to put the text that is meant to be right here. So I'll just create another text box and I'll copy what I want to write here. I already prepared what I want to write and then I'll just paste it right here. All right, we can then enhance the text. I'll just align it to the left and then I'll choose a smaller font or a smaller size and I'll try to just make everything fall in one row for each category you can also change the font style I'll just use this simple font which is Swiss 721 and then I'll just minimize the font that's better now let's just start inserting the plans so these are the two plans that i want to use open with photoshop so now as you can see our plans have a white background and for me i would like to remove this white background so i can uh, invert them to white and then put them on the dark part of the poster so for that you might need to go if you, if you have a white background you will need to go you will need first to unlock your layer and then go to select color range and then just click anywhere which is white and then hit ok and it will select all the white in your image 
and then you can just hit delete so that's one way to remove uh, the white background it will be so easy if your case is just similar to my case which is having just two colors white and gray or white and black white and something but if you have multiple colors in your ba uh, background or in your plants it will be a little bit more difficult and you will have to try other methods and then i'll double click on my layer to enter the style mode and i'll go to color overlay and then i'll change the color to black i'll hit ok so now this plan is fixed i'll do the same quickly to the other floor plan now that i have my two plans cleaned i would like to do something very important to make the uh, the inverse command work which is making the color that i just gave permanent to the layer to make it as if it is already like that because if i just hit ctrl i which is inverse it won't work because it doesn't read like the plan is already black so for that you will need to do one thing which is right to click and then rasterize layer style so the layer will be black and it won't read that it has a color overlay and then i'll do the same to the other layer rasterize layer style and then i'll just drag it to my main poster and place it right here so now our layer is here we can try the command Control i now it became white because we've inverted the colors now this is our ground floor plan i'll just drag the first floor which is this one to the main poster right here put it right here and then i'll do the same Control i to invert the colors now we have white plans and that was really easy it is a very easy trick to make a very outstanding poster in just a few seconds all right after that i would like to go back to my brainstorming board to see what else we should put in our poster so now this is our brainstorming board okay so now we've placed the title we've placed the plans and text now we should place the elevations or the sections so as you can see we still have plenty of space here we will see what we, what we're gonna do with this space but first let's finish the elevations and sections so i'll go to my elevations apparently we have only elevations here so i'll go to my elevations and i will do just the same so i'll just remove the lock i'll go to my select color range i'll select the white okay and then hit delete on my keyboard and then ctrl d and then because it's gray i would like to make it black i'll double click on my layer style on my layer to open the layer style mode i'll go to color overlay make sure it's black or normal and then hit ok and then just rasterize your layer style and then drag it to your main poster drop it where you want to drop it and then you can keep it black because it's falling on the white part or you can try ctrl i i don't know how i feel about that i don't like it maybe just maybe we can move the elevations here and we can change our brainstorming board because it didn't fit our requirements and then i control i and now i'll hit ok and now we have our elevation placed in the correct position and under the dark color now i'll drag the other elevation so let's see if it's gonna work right click open with photoshop same process same everything select color range white okay hit delete ctrl d to deselect then double click on my layer so we can go to color overlay hit okay rasterize your layer style and then just drag it to your main poster right here and then ctrl i 
okay so now we have all of these things now let's try to adjust everything to make it look like as if it is a one poster that has one spirit okay so i'll just try to put everything together and i'll see what we're gonna do Now here, as you can see, I added few clouds, some birds and a moon so we can complete the look of this poster. You can, of course, add more things. You can increase this text. I know that many of you would like to add their own concept in a text, maybe a diagram right here. You can squeeze these right here and then put your diagram here. But I like to show you how to start up with the concept of creating a dark color uh, architectural poster so this is the way it's very easy everyone can do it you can do it in like five minutes if you have your brainstorming board ready this brainstorming board is really important i always always do a brainstorming poster or board before i start my actual poster this helped me a lot and it will make you finish very fast also make sure that you're uh, exporting your plans sections elevations even your renders in high quality because it will really elevate your poster it will make it look like you've spent hours and hours on creating your poster but in reality you would only spend like a few seconds or minutes doing this poster in a very good and professional way Thank you so much for watching. If you want me to do anything else to explain anything for you, just mention that in the comment section below. And this was the end of our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or if you have anything that you want me to explain, then just mention that in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the notifications bell on so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!